Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to look at a question from Myron. Myron Calhoun, uh, W0PVP, Papa Bravo Victor. Okay, and um, he is referring to the MFJ9232. It's a little small loop tuner for QRP, okay? And um, he asks, how uh, can two capacitors match 50 ohms to an inductance? Actually, it's easy. Here's your loop, the small loop, okay? Often called a magnetic loop, a small loop. Now, a small loop is one turn, or sometimes two turns, or even three turns, at lower frequencies like 80 meters, but usually one turn of a loop, okay? So it's a, it's a magnet. <clears throat> one turn. It's got inductance. You can sit there and measure it, and I will point out that the big area right here is in the numerator of the... Uh, determination, the, the function that describes how much inductance is here. The bigger you make the inductor, the more inductance it has. Well, now, if this is inductive and we want to resonate it, what do we do? We have to add some capacitance to create a tank circuit. Okay, so what we do is add this capacitor here. Now, this is a so-called butterfly capacitor where you have plates like this that are fixed okay those are fixed and you've got the wires going out like that which is right here and right here now in the middle you have a so-called butterfly and see this center wire is ground to that. And these things rotate. And as they rotate, they rotate in and out on both sides of this. So you can make these actually quite big uh, so that um, <clears throat> you will vary the capacitance here without touching these plates because this is this point right here of the tuned circuit is zero volts. Obviously, it's a short. This over here is the high voltage part of the loop. High voltage. You don't want to touch this. It can actually be hundreds of volts, if, even with QRP. Thousands of volts if you use full power. This is a QRP loop tuner. Now, okay, you've tuned that to resonance. All right, this right here is a matching capacitor that can add or subtract capacitive reactants from the tuning so that over here you can get 50 ohms at hopefully zero phase, okay? And then operate it, and that's how that thing operates. So it can work. It can work. Now, I have tried one of these, and. I didn't get it to work very well, but it does work. And for some people, it's perfect. He says, and, and in my response to him, the small loop is a one-turn inductor. Capacitance is added to make it resonant. Now, if this were just a dipole here, and a dipole that is too short would be capacitive, and you would have to add inductance. The reason you have to add the capacitance here is because it is a loop. It is an inductor. Okay? So there you have a Myron. I hope that uh, helps. Um, now, full-size loops, you know, the ones that are uh, half or full wavelength around, are self-resonant. You don't need to... Um, add capacitance or inductance to them, although if it's not tuned just right, you will have to. You can make the loop a little smaller if you add some loading. The term loading means adding some inductance, and uh, then you will need a, a tuner to bring that fully into a resonance.
So there you have it. If any of you watching would like to throw in a little to help the channel, go to decastlercom slash support and find a way that works for you, either Patreon or PayPal. And if you would uh, like, uh, please uh, click like on this subscribe. Do all those things that uh, YouTube likes. And until we next meet, 73.